Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for vlog number two of this weekend. Hello, you okay? You had another night out, didn't you? That rug is looking a little bit squiffy, <laughs> Addy. Um, but yes, day two, it is now Sunday and we are off out to complete our own one day event. Uh, no, can't be a one day event because it's two days. Two day event. Um, so yesterday we went over to Chifton Park and did combined training, dressage, show jumping, and then we went in and did our first 90 round on grass, which if you've seen the vlog, make sure that you check that one out. Didn't go, I'd say, 100% according to plan, but we did rectify ourselves and we were allowed to go in again and have another schooling round, which was so much better. I've now watched the footage back and yeah, the second time that we went in, was a lot more chilled, a bit more relaxed and so much better. But her dressage and her 80 round was really good. So I was really chuffed with that. And I'll be honest, I can't even really show you like loading the car up because I just left everything in there. I kind of needed like studs and stuff like that again. But obviously there is a couple of additions that need to be changed. So one of those is my, I can't get it off the hanger, <laughs> is my Champion TI-22 body protector which is in the grey um, and then also need my skull hat as well which I believe is in this hat bag so that is in there um, but other than that everything is the same yeah everything is the same I'm really panicked oh no I need some extra boots um, so let's pop those ones in as well but otherwise everything else is still in my car so I haven't had to come over too early this morning which was Again, nice. It is a little bit further of a travel. It would be about 45 minutes. No, probably an hour actually. Say more an hour. Um, I have only been to this venue once. So today is a hunter trial. Like I say, we've made up our own two day event. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like just chuck everything in, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'll get the ponies in before I hitch up. Otherwise they might not let me catch them. Um, Yes, we're doing a hunter trial today, just the 80. Um, again, I just wanted to get out to another course. I was thinking, as I mentioned in the vlog from yesterday, about entering another one day event, but that would have meant, again, another long day, lots of miles to travel, and doesn't need it. So I saw this was on locally, and I was like, boom, ideal, because I do feel that we any cross country like round competition atmosphere that we do is always a one day event and I'd like to just go out and just have a little bit of a school around but still in that with the flags on, commentator, all the noises, the jump judges just to gain that experience. Um, I think that will be really beneficial to Addy. So we're just going for a bit of fun and a bit of a schooling round, um, see some different cross country fences and to be within when her adrenaline's up. Basically, as we all know that her adrenaline does, yesterday on grass when she's jumping, she's like, woohoo, we're on grass again. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but I kind of, it's arrive, get the ponies in, give her a quick groom, hitch up and get on the road. I don't know if my mum's going with me, otherwise I think I'm going on my own. So this vlog might be a little bit pointless because I might not have somebody to film for me. So apologies. Yeah, I need to figure that out. Hopefully I'm maybe might be able to find somebody up there that I know and be like, can you film for me, please? I think what I'm going to do is crack on. I've got to print a number, pop that in my number bib, get Addy in, hitch up. So more than likely, I'll see you guys at Lower Tilkenbury. We have arrived bang on time. So my working out the timings did me well. Um, we Look how beautiful these views are. You can literally see four miles and then over there, we over there is Bodmin Moor. So yeah, we are very high up, off to find the start and get out and walk the course. Not going to bother using like cross country app or like to measure or anything because today is just about getting out around a course and also you're not allowed to wear, for just a hunter trial, you're not allowed to wear a watch so it's not like I can be working out my timings i just want to go around in a nice rhythm and yeah whatever speed that makes us at knowing me probably fast no we weren't fast last week we were bang on our speed last week actually so i just want to go out there and kind of do the same we've got nice fences here nice skinnies in the warm-up logs various sizes so 
yeah, looking forward to getting out and having a look at the course. It looks nice and inviting, the first couple. So nice and just like logs, basically. So that will get us hopefully into, into our rhythm. Um, but let's head down, see what colour we're looking at, see what the course has got in store for us. Fence number one. Number two. That's a little bit different, but I'm just going up there and down. Bringing her back to trot for this because that's quite skinny actually to get off there, but yeah, but it's not a big step down. That's more than capable, but just yeah, coming back to trot to make sure that I can keep her nice and straight. So we've come over, down the step, over the log, then our first combination, which is nice, it's uphill. We can get make sure that we've got the power behind us. 6A. And then some tyres. Like you say, it's coming uphill, so we've just got to make sure that we've got all the power behind us. And then looks like we are heading off into the woods. So it was quite a climb up through those woods and then we've come out and around into the field to a nice hay cut. Very nice. And then where are we going? I think we're turning right now to the house over there. House boat. I say there's a boat. Oh no, that's not my number eight. Let's not get confused with that. That's the 98. Mine's a little one over there. Okay, so we carry on straight a little bit longer. <laughs> make sure not to cut this corner actually, because it'd be very easy to. Yeah, make sure that we stay nice and down that hill there. To make sure that she's got plenty of time to into the water for the nine. And then I think we're off to the other corner where we've got a little step up and a corner. The battery's exhausted and I forgot to bring a battery out on course with me. So apologies because it's probably going to sound quite windy. It's lovely to be up high and have the views but with that comes a little bit of wind. Um, but so far the course is looking nice and inviting and I think it's going to be really good for us getting like getting into that rhythm, nice inviting jumps to just build and build on our confidence and by the time we come in here then you've got like the hay car and the boat um, which again is nice and inviting but just after being rustic, it's nice to have then a couple of like looky ones that she should hopefully be in that rhythm and knowing that we're doing cross country. Um, but yeah, next up we have got 10A and B. Oh, nice on a straight line. So make sure we've got a nice punchy canter or punchy trot to get up that. And then land nice low wide hands and pop over the corner. Another combination, 11A and B. Just a little step over ditch, which we'll come trotting at, and then we have one stride to the B element. Nice mushroom there, Mum. You'd like that mushroom. Oh, and a little dinky one too. Cute. That should be nice and straightforward. And we're heading towards the lorry park as well, which I think that always helps. We've just gone around the outside of the field. To another combination 12a and then we've got a sunken road we jumped this at Chiverton Park when we went training the other week so no wobbles about this one please Addy there we go and up we go and then we're turning right again heading towards must be coming on to the finish I would have thought going through another water Oh, 13, not 14. I keep looking at the black. I need to look at the blue. Blue. I can come straight through. Ooh. Straight line to this one. This is a pretty jump. Number 15 through. I'm going to say like an owl hole. It's not quite an owl hole. It's not very big. But a bit different. Addy hasn't jumped something like that before, so today it's going to be her first time. But yeah, excited. That'd be a nice, uh, nice photo to come through that. Right, and now where are we off to the next fence? <laughs> I take that back, just racking my brain. And she has jumped an owl hole. She's done the one at Pontypool a couple of times. So actually, that shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. 
it's so hard when you're walking yeah no excuses but it's so hard like you've got to be so careful of the language that you use for all the fences like and I don't know sometimes even if you might be perhaps thinking it you need to say to yourself out loud like yeah that looks like a good jump and it's all to do with mindset and yeah just being careful of the language that I use when I'm describing the jumps or and I think probably a little bit more when I'm vlogging um but no the course is looking good we've got two fences two fences left I think and um, so we're back in the first field um nice little roll top there and then 17 to finish looking like a really nice course and different kind of jumps for Addy to see and experience so yeah looking forward to giving it a go and fence 17 to finish over that and through the finish line clear round Addy thank you very much no as I was saying the ground is good the course is looking nice and it's actually a nice atmosphere it's quite calm so hopefully that will keep Addy calm and not let her adrenaline build up yeah, right. Now time to uh, get her out and get her ready. Get the studs in. But the ground is really good considering how much rain we've had. I know that a lot of places have still had to abandon this weekend. But you <laughs> won't come through the finish. Bing! Aww. <laughs> happy rider, happy pony. That's what it's about.
left and just didn't even see the fence. And she also, I don't know whether she'll get a stop for going down the first step. She really backed off. She didn't really step backwards like that, but she just came in and she was just like, I don't know where you're quite wanting me to go, which I understand because that was a narrow little gap. Yeah, it for was. Her. Yeah. And she went down it, no problem. Jump the tyres, no problem. The owl hole, zero problem. Through the water, much more confident. Didn't even need to stop to look at it. She was very good. Ditch didn't even pay attention to. Yeah. Very good. Just the hay cut. I don't know whether because it was such a long gap that she had time to look at things. I don't know. But she spooked from that way. And there was no chance. I, I tried to get her to be... Look, there's a fence, but I couldn't. Just... I'm getting wet. <laughs> it's coming this way. <laughs> right, proper debrief time whilst I sort myself out. But yeah, very, very good. Was, I was just saying to mum, a completely different course again to what last week was at Waverton. Like, there was only one little sort of crossing through like a little path at Waverton. The rest of it is just out in an open field, all grass. And actually today was a lot more like over the banks different terrain there was more like fences built on like the camber of the hill going down into that um the bottom of the valley before coming up through the woods all just really different for her which is really good it was windy at the top and you're coming in and around all like the show jumps there's loads to look at so that was actually a really good experience for Addy. big positives <laughs> i know it was only a tiny ditch but actually would you believe that that was something that when lola was a baby i could not get her over that ditch so i was really trying hard not to think about that today because obviously i know that Addy is not ditchy whatsoever and she absolutely went over that really nicely and through the owl hole which i thought that she might be a little bit spooky actually wasn't like at all she was good as gold she listened to me and that was what was really nice today i felt that me using more of my voice sort of helped reassure her and that's something that I've really got to remember is like talking to her the whole way round, um, clicking at her like when I want her like to give a reassurance and also worrying before the fence like just steady down like don't run through the bridle to run to the bottom of the fence but I thought that she was doing that really really well so really chuffed. Um, the hay cart, she's jumped load of hay carts, it wasn't the hay cart at all, I almost don't know whether it was the one that was next to ours to jump, the surface that they've put down like gravelly kind of thing to help with the takeoffs and landings and I don't know whether she just suddenly spied that at the last second and that's what caused us, um, I'm hoping that I've got that on camera to watch back because I felt like we were straight lined up, I was looking at the fence, um, was getting her to steady and then all of a sudden I just felt her like two strides out go spooky five but it's absolutely fine, all experience, she came round jumped it again um she was so much more confident through the water today she didn't have to take that like little split second to look into she jumped up the step and onto the corner really nicely oh so many positives to take from that and again just a really good beneficial educational experience round basically that's what i'm taking from today so a very successful weekend with the ponies but i've washed her off she's happy munching she's been scraped off as well so I'm just gonna load up the car and decide him whether to have any cheesy chips or not that is the next question okay so i am just currently editing the vlog and i realized that i have not actually done an outro finished it so yeah here is a very short and sweet um, it was a fabulous day, really good to gain, again, more experience and looking forward already to get back out there and tackle some more cross country this year. I think that's just what she needs to have now is get those rounds under her belt, like I said, gain the experience and for us to build that partnership together. So yeah, it was a very good day. Fabulous weekend, actually. Pony fun, couple of events over the two days, giving us our own mini one or two day event um but as always i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please do like comment and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already and until next time guys i will see you all very very soon bye